Hi everyone, Ian here. In this video, I'm just gonna go over how to create uh, this kind of rotating color effect on text. Uh, it's super simple, it takes like a few seconds to set up in Cavalry. Um, however, in this example, I've gone slightly over the top and I'm um, fading between two sets of rotating colors and also uh, changing the text, uh, because why not? Um, so I'll, sh I'll show you the, you know, the rotating colors bit first, it takes a few seconds, and then I'll um, do all the fancy stuff afterwards and you can hang around for that if you want to. <laughs> um, okay, so let's make some new text. I'm gonna hold Alt, click on the text tool, it's gonna make some text at the middle of the scene. Um, I'll change the font to uh, Sarah Basic because I like it, and then I will make it rather large, um, position it in the middle, and then um, now that we have the text in the middle of the screen, uh, what we need to do, okay, so um, if I pick, let me pick, I need to make a couple of, um, Cowboy is new line amazing. Okay, so let's do that. Um, so I've given ourselves two lines of text here because I'm gonna just show you, demonstrate something. So on the text shape, we've got this fill color here. Okay, now this just sets the color for all the text, which is great and what you would expect, fine. Uh, so how you set colors for um, different words, different lines, different uh, characters is by using um, one of our deformers and the deformer that does this is called the submesh deformer. So let's add the submesh. So let's just go and find it. It's up here, submesh. Uh, with that added, um, we can just go to the fill tab on this. We can turn on replace fill and uh, let's add a palette. So we'll just go down and pick, um, let's pick the symbol palette and um, just Create an array from palette, which brings that in as a as a, a utility we can use in the scene. Drag the output from that. That's this little dot next to the name. Drag the output from that onto the fill color, and that gives us different colors per um, per character. Uh, now, the reason that it's giving um, different colors uh, for each item is because we have this auto index on. We can choose the same color for everything if we want to. So that's just going to scrub through all the different colors in this array uh, or auto index. So now that we've got auto index on, um, if we go onto the behavior tab of the submesh, you can see that here. Let me just hold alt double click just so that that's the only thing um, that's uh, um, being shown in the attribute editor. You can see that we've got this attribute called level mode and it's set to text characters. You can click on this and choose words. So each word gets a different uh, color. Those two blues are different by the way. <laughs> um, or you can choose line. So we go text lines. Now the um, the uh, each line gets two different colors. Um, I'm, not, I'm beginning to think this probably wasn't the best. I thought we just change that second blue to something slightly different so you can more obviously see the um, the difference. Okay, so hopefully that's easier for you to see. Um, now back on the submesh, let's just change that to words again so you can see the difference there. So three different colors there and then on the characters. Okay, so um, you saw on the color array here, uh, we had this, this index which I showed you, which is where you can kind of like just step the colors um, so why not let's do that? So instead of um, uh, having a fixed index, let's, yeah, you, we could pick a random one. So we can add a behavior here and we can have a random uh, index if we wanted. So each of them gets a random color. So obviously you need to set the random from zero to five, zero to four, sorry, because uh, we've got um, the first um, color is index zero, the last color is index four. Uh, so we could just change that from zero to four like so, and then we get kind of random colors. You can choose a seed if you want. Ooh like that. Um, but this, um, as you'll notice, uh, is using repeating colors. So um, the, the same the, the same character might get the same color twice just because that's how random numbers lie. So we don't actually want random. Random is not what we want. What we want to use instead is the modulate. So um, if we go and add modulate like that, um, we can then load up the UI for this. And uh, we can, if we move um, the... Uh, Oh, no, index offset, like so. If we move the index offset, you'll see that we're just cycling through colors, like so. Uh, and that's because um, it's basically um, doing a modulus on, on the on the index. So we just, we basically uh, just get, go round and round in loop, zero, one, two, three, four, zero, one, two, three, four, zero, one, two, three, four, like so. So how do we animate that automatically? We can just right click on this one and go add behavior and let's add a frame behavior to that, uh, which is gonna, make them go very, very quickly. Um, we can make this go much more slowly by double clicking on the frame behavior to load its UI, changing that value to like 0 0.1. And that means that every 10 frames we'll get a new color, basically. So there you go. Uh, so that's how you can do the rotating colors in, um, in Cavalry. Um, okay, so uh, I know I, I talked around that a lot. If you were just to set it up, it takes no time at all. Uh, but uh, I was doing something a little bit fancier where I was fading between two arrays. Okay, so I was fading between two color arrays. So I don't know why I've loaded that up. Um, let's get a second, second color array in here. 
by the way, if you're not interested in any of the other stuff, you can you can, you can leave this uh, this tutorial now. Um, so let's get a second array up, and we'll just go create array from palette like so. And um, what we need to do on the uh, on the sub mesh behavior is um, over on fill here. We've got this um, we've got this color this fill color coming in here, um, and that's coming from one of our arrays. Now we don't actually want to use that anymore. What we want to use instead is a color blend. Uh, so if I just um, press uh, Command full stop on the Mac or Control full stop on Windows and go color blend to the top here hit return we get this fancy gradient and um, this uh, new, new utility and what we can do is we can do something clever where we plug in one of our arrays so let's plug in color array 2 let's drag the output from that and we'll drag that onto the color swatch of the gradient and what this means is um, well actually what we need to do now of course is grab the text shape and um, Oh no! Grab the fill color on the on the sub mesh here. Uh, we and we can either disconnect that, disconnect this, and then connect it the color blend. Or when we drag the color blend on, if we hold down Command on Mac or Control on Windows, it'll just replace that connection. So we can now fade between these two colors. Now this um, right hand color, sorry, something's gone on there. Uh, this right hand color can be anything. So uh, we could go between this. Um, so the fading here, um, we could just animate that over to red uh, if you wanted to um, and back down again uh, so that's kind of how the animating worked that I did um, in the in the other scene that we had um, only the right hand the right hand stop was linked to the second array so let's do that let's get this color array here and just drag that onto the color stop for the um, for the second uh, for the second stop Col um, yeah, the color swatch for the second stop that is and then all we all I did is just keyframe strength going from zero to say 30. And then maybe just move that bar across so you get a bit of both. So now we've got rotating color on one array and then, uh, oh, the other color isn't rotating. So what we need to do is on the second um, second array here, let's load up the UI for that. And then let's grab the output of the modulate. That's the output is the little dot on the right. Just drag that straight onto index and then just let go. And then when you hit play, um, that's moving too. Cool. So simple as that really. And if I just rewind to the beginning, you can see this one, and then we're just fading through to this other set of colors that's rotating. Nice one. So that's the color blend. And then the other thing that I did was I actually had the text animating as well, because why ever not? So let's um, press command full stop on the Mac or control full stop on Windows to get the add element window up. And then let's just type in string. Whoops, let's type in string uh, and go string array. So we want the string array. So the string array is like a color array, only instead of colors. We're adding strings. So strings are bits of text, if you don't know. And then in the first one, we can have um, uh, cavalry. Uh, and then the second one we can have is, and the third one we can have amazing, like so. And then what we do is we just drag the output of the string array straight onto text. So, and now you guessed it, we can just turn off this auto index and we can just animate through this here. So we could, that's, and that's how we basically, how I animated the string. So, you know, we could set a keyframe here and then set, say, one here, uh, nope, one, uh, and then over here we can set two, like so. And then cavalry is amazing. And that's it, that's how you do it. So yeah, nothing else to show. Um, I hope you have learned something in that vid and I uh, look forward to seeing what you can do with these techniques.